need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. You use Master Pages and Publisher to change the default appearance of pages in a publication. A master page is a page that contains the default objects and content you want to apply as a page layout to a publication page. When you add pages to a publication, they can then be formatted according to the master page's specifications. You can have several master pages within a publication. You can create and customize your own master pages in Publisher. You can then save these master pages as a custom publisher template for future use. To display the master page view, click the master page button in the Views button group on the View tab within the ribbon. The master pages for the current publication will appear in the navigation pane at the left side of the window. The currently selected master page in this panel will be displayed for editing in the main window. You will also see the new master page tab appear within the ribbon. You use the buttons found in the button groups on this tab to make changes to the master pages in your publication. To add a new master page, click the Add Master Page button. In this dialog box that appears, you can enter an identifier for the master page into the Page ID box. Typically, master pages are identified in alphabetical order. You can then enter a description for the master page in the description text box. If you want to create a two-page master, then check the two-page master checkbox. You can customize a master page by first selecting it within the navigation pane. You can then add any content you want to show in your publication pages by default into the selected master page. This is a great place to add building block content you want to have displayed on your pages. You can also apply any other design items to publication pages that are associated with the selected master page. Note that this content cannot be edited when applied to the actual pages in your publication. However, it is an excellent place to insert content that will not change, such as page numbers, design elements, and custom header and footer information. To access the header and footer in your selected master page, click the Show Header Footer button in the Header and Footer button group. Your insertion marker will be placed at the left edge of the header or footer each time you click this button. You can then use the Tab key on your keyboard to tab to the center or right tab within the header or footer. Once your insertion marker is at the desired location, click the Insert Page Number button. This will insert a page number into the text box. You can also click the Insert Date or Insert Time buttons in this button group to insert date or time stamps into the text box at the indicated locations. You can also simply type your own custom header and footer information if desired. Once you have entered your custom header and footer information, click into the page area to quit editing the headers and footers. Back in the Master Page button group, you can click the Two Page Master button to switch the currently selected master page between a two-page and a one-page layout. Also note that if you click this button when you have a two-page master selected, Publisher will warn you that all objects on the left master page will be deleted and replaced by the objects on the right master page. You will need to click the OK button in the Confirmation dialog box to continue. You can click the Apply To drop-down button to apply the currently selected master page to pages within your publication. From the drop-down, you can select the Apply to All Pages, and this will apply the currently selected master page to all publication pages. You can select the Apply to Current Page to apply the master page to the currently selected publication page. You could also select the Apply Master Page command to open up the Apply Master Page dialog box. In this dialog box, you have the option to apply the currently selected master page to all, the current page, or a page range within the publication. If you select the Pages option, enter the page range into the adjacent text boxes. Then click the OK button to finish. You can also click the Duplicate button in the Master Page button group to duplicate the master page that is currently selected. Enter an ID and a description for the duplicate 
into the Duplicate Master Page dialog box that appears, and then click the OK button to finish. You can click the Rename button, and this will open up the Rename Master Page dialog box, where you can enter a new ID and description for the master page. Then click the OK button to rename the selected master. You can also click the Delete button in the Master Page button group to delete the currently selected master page from your publication. If you do this, Publisher will warn you that if the master page has been applied to any pages in your publication, that the first master page will be applied in its place as a substitution. If this is fine, then click the Yes button to delete the currently selected master page. Once you have finished customizing the master pages, you can click the Close Master Page button in the Close Button group on the Master Page tab in the ribbon to close the master page. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.